has been such a long journey for you. What is it like to finally be on the road to fight for your UFC title? You know, for me, Saturday, I don't think about belt yet. I think I'm going to uh, do sparring Saturday at the gym. <laughs> I don't put my mind, I'm going to fight, and I still fight for the belt, and then I just think I'm going to be sparring, and then one more day, and then the consequence, I put my wrist in my, the belt in my wrist will be the consequence, and I'm ready, I feel very happy. What opponent that you fought in the past would you compare most to Tony Avenger? Uh, you know, I fight a lot of girls, and then, you know, Marlos Kunis, she's very good in MMA. And then it's MMA, you know, in, in, it's MMA, it's not just Jiu-Jitsu, not just uh, uh, Muay Thai or the boxing, it's MMA. And I'm training this twelve years or more, a little bit more, everything. And then maybe to another guy I can show a little bit the other other things in my game too. Tanya Evans just said earlier that she thinks that she is your toughest, toughest competitor so far. And she thinks that she's actually fought tougher girls in her career than you fought. What do you think about that? Is, is that? is that true, do you think? You know, I respect all my opponents. I respect Tonya. She accepted the fight. She's top 10 in the world in 135. And I'm very happy she's happy to be big platform to fight me. And then, you know, we should say everything she's going to do in the cage will be an amazing fight Saturday. Chris, Tonya said that you have an immediate rematch clause in your contract. Is that something that was hard to get? Because that's very rare in MMA. I have this. That's what she said. I don't know about that. Really? <laughs> really? You share the same manager, so maybe. I don't, I don't think so. No. I don't think so, you yeah. Don't. So if something goes wrong on Saturday, you don't get an immediate rematch? Nothing wrong, man. I train hard and then, man, it's a lose or win happen, you know? It's, a, it's nothing wrong. You said something wrong because lose. You know, I'm there for do amazing fight and do wins consequence. I go there for do the fight at night and she should be ready like this, too. And then if something happens, you're going to find her in the way, you know? This is no, don't change. I don't fight thinking about the lose. I fight thinking make the best fight. Chris, how does it feel to go in there and all the cheers? I, I feel very happy. You know, look like I'm in Brazil. Look like I've seen 9 8. I think the California will be like this, like this. A lot of fans come to see me, and they're very blessed, and then very thankful for all my fans, and the cyber nation, and then, you know, make my heart really happy and motivate for be there. I know you said you're not thinking about the belt yet, but have you sat back and thought about the journey that everything that it's taken to get here and everything they've gone up and down? I think it's going to be the end of the one chapter in my life and the beginning of the, the new life, you know, I think it'll be great. And there'll be one more belt, like I have two in the house, there's going to be one more belt, and then we will have a belt, but I don't think about that now. Uh, I just think about win that fight Saturday. If it's the end of a chapter, has it been a good chapter? Has it been an exhausting chapter? What is the chapter going to be? Uh, grateful. I think it'll be, it'll be an amazing end, you know? Happy ending. It'll be novella, novella happy, you know? <laughs> and then the novella always happy. You made a uh, contest. You had someone walk up with you on the stage, but then I think the UFC said no. But now you're going to give them tickets, and it was a girl who was going through something. Can you, can you yes, about what happened? Uh, I did like one challenge for all my fans for doing video, say how's I special for them, and they do like a walk out with them in the win, the wins. But we don't check it out everything about commission, about everything, and then say I cannot bring her with me. But then I said you're gonna give a ticket for her, and, they, and she cannot go to stage, but she could be behind there and they go to my fight to watch with me. And she started this little girl, it's nice, it's Ashlyn. She six six years old. She just uh, lost her dad seven months. She's survived cancer first time and now come back, and she's still fighting. And for me, she's the real champ. And then I'll be happy be with the weekend with her. Have you met her? No yet. Okay. Not yet. Chris, recently Dana White said that the UFC has made a lot of mistakes in uh, in how they've dealt with you. Do you think that they they're not committed to, to promoting you the way that you should be promoted? Uh, you know, it's really nice when someone say did a mistake and then say that. You know, so a lot of people have a lot of ego and don't say anything. And then I respect that, and I think I think I, I can forgive him, but have a lot of consequences. He cannot lead. Have a lot of things people say about me, internet, have bad things I don't want to remember now, but it's hard to delete, you have to clean everything. But in time, it's time you're going to change. But he say he want to change, you know, he want to work together. Let's see, you know, I give the chance, let's see how it's going to be work. So you don't forgive him yet, but you may forgive him in the future? I forgive him, but I think have a lot of consequences it's going to, you know, happen. Chris, your contract is up in October. Is there a chance this is your last UFC fight? We don't know, yeah, we don't know. I want to work together and then say they want to get, let's see who's going to work here, you know, next meeting, and let's see how it's work. Have they reached out to you about signing a deal before this fight? Uh, no, 
don't know. I think we keep talking and maybe I think after this fight. Yes. Do you feel you're on the verge of becoming like the face of the people who are you seen now? You know, as I said, I don't want to be faced in MMA. I want to be, I want, I think have a lot of girls can be faced in MMA, have a lot of women. I think we did a mistake one time, we put the wrong girls in the face in MMA, and she is, she don't find out retiring, and then people, people, ah, no, they don't have a face in MMA. I don't want to be that person. I want to make a lot of things for all the women in MMA, and they have a lot of girls too, and then be together, growing together. Chris, you mentioned uh, Ronda Rousey. Do you have any regrets about everything that happened between the two of you? And do you want to kind of squ squash that those bad feelings? No, I don't have anything against Ronda. I think she did a lot of things for me, you know. And then I don't have anything, you know. We can we can talk. I never met her before, but I think she did great things for for women MMA. She did a lot of things I say about me, but I think she used this, that time for growing her. You know, I think she's using like a business and I think something personal because I never met her. We don't know each other. Well, nothing. I don't have anything against her. Would you like to meet her and talk to her? Maybe one day. We don't know. Yeah. Question what, about, what about your name? Do you have anything against her or anything about her? No, I have nothing against her. I don't think she's a champ. I think she never fought. She don't fight 145. I think she don't deserve to fight for the belt. And if she's new, she fights for, fight for the belt. She's supposed to fight me. And then she say no, I, because my hand, because my personal family, I don't know. But I think wrong, man. When you hold the belt, you need to fight who's ready to fight the belt. Chris, how do you see the fight going Saturday? Uh, uh, I train really hard, and then, man, I'm going to do my best over there, and then I, I, leave, I leave all the good hands who would get the belt. Chris, how are you feeling Thank you guys. now, your Jamaica's playing your past year? I feel happy because my, my team happy, my family happy, I think we did a very nice camp, and I was can dance after you know my last train and uh, my last fight I was no warm up before fight I was really weak. I feel great, I feel great, I think it will be an amazing day Saturday and then just have a little bit for losing and be ready for Saturday. How much do you weigh right now? How much do you weigh? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you far far off? No, I'm, I'm close, I'm close. Yeah, I feel very happy, I feel good. Okay. okay.